on today's episode, we are breaking down barriers, honey. You know, this is the episode where you got to do this step. You got to be self-awareness in this step in order to be able to go to the next level, which is manifestation. So we can't really manifest what we really want unless we control exactly, not really control, become more aware of who it is we really are. They say that you attract who you are and not what you want. And that's very true. But before we get into all of that, please make sure that you hit subscribe. Like the video. If you like the video, comment, leave comments below so I can know, like, does this resonate with you? Is this something that you're trying to work towards or work on as well? So without getting into all the YouTube stuff, y'all already know to subscribe. Let's get into what this topic is about. And that's about limited beliefs on the path. Once you get to know yourself and you're going through the healing of knowing yourself and you're constantly doing your shadow work, you know, becoming more self-aware, you'll realize that you have some of these blocks in certain areas and you're like, well, I want to be able to do this, but I wish I could have this thing, but it's like, what is keeping you in that mindset, in that frame of mind where you don't really, you can't like go any further than that because this is all you've ever known this is what you've probably been taught or conditioned to think by way of influence tv or i'm, I'm huge on tv let me just stop right there I, in order for me to be able to get on my journey and stay on my journey and maintain i had to stop watching tv it is hella um what am i trying to say I want to say brainwashing. That's the best thing that I can come up with in this scenario because you you don't realize the conditioning that takes place when you're able to consume things that are not real um, through your eyes on TV. And, you know, in the spiritual community, they always say that television is telling lies to your vision. So keep that in your back pocket and keep that in mind as we go on. But limiting beliefs, it's like, what are you telling yourself? What is the, the, the story that you have running in your mind all the time? Is it that you can't make enough money because you work in a nine to five and this is all the money that you can make and you don't have time to like do anything else with your time because you're constantly back and forth doing the same thing. And it's like, I don't really necessarily need to work for myself, but I wish I can make more money. But I can't because I'm already working this nine to five or doing whatever job it is that you do. Is it that, you know, you really do want to work out, but it's like, I don't really have time for that working out. I mean, it's going to take so long to get the body that I actually want. And baby, it takes time to get a lot of things that you want sometimes. And some things happen to people so much more naturally. And it's really about their belief system. What's going on in your mind? What do you really believe? So, if you're not careful with limited beliefs, it'll it'll breed things in you that you didn't even know where it stemmed from. But now you're starting to see it as, okay, maybe I am a people pleaser because I generally want people to like me. Because if I didn't people please, they wouldn't like me. <laughs> That's a limited belief for some people. Um, it could be a lack of... Um, type of limited belief like maybe you lack confidence in certain areas maybe you lack the mindset to be able to pull in more money and they call that poverty um, mindset where you always feel like you don't never have enough even if you have money in the bank you probably still feel like you'd never have enough because you have this poverty mindset that if you spend any part of it that it'll just leave and it'll never flow back to you you know the way you got it the first time always feeling like the other shoe is gonna drop you know what i'm saying um download coming in right now limited beliefs stem from what happened to you young when you were younger and when you keep that in mind you realize okay i've probably witnessed some things in my early childhood but that also stems from what happened to your family, your parents. You know what I'm saying? Um, being able to bring in more money, if you look at astrology, we just did a video on learning yourself through astrology. So please check that video out. And also, as I stated in that video, 
If you need more help trying to explore yourself and realize exactly who you are on the journey, please reach out to me. Email me at Naomi the G one number one at gmail.com and we'll discuss these type of things. But not to go on a tangent, in your astrology, it'll show you like things that happen in your family that could be generational curses that could have caused you to have this type of mindset that money comes to me so hard. I have to work hard for everything. We live in a life that is, that is already conditioning us to be a certain type of way. Like you can't, this is, this is your mark. Y'all are uh, middle class and you can only make this third world countries. Y'all are poverty. You can only, this is all they can ever have. And that's not necessarily true. It's all a mindset. It don't matter what you, where you came from, if you came from nothing, okay, you can still have abundance in something. It don't matter because, you know, they once you start making money, they're like, oh, well, it's new money versus old money. Don't nobody care about that. It doesn't matter. Po Listen, abundance is what you're trying to attract, and you're trying to attract that more abundantly, and you want to be able to outpour your abundance onto others. So when you check your mind and you be able to realize I can co-create with the universe, all I need to do are these simple steps. Really, you need to just start believing in yourself. Whatever you might see in your astrology, if it tells you, okay, well, yeah, your family, um, you know, they have problems with getting money too. Or your family has a history of getting money and then it leaving from their hands really quickly. All you got to do is just tap into that. I, re I believe that, that it could have been true in a past life. But moving forward, that is not my story. And how, how are you going to co-create with the universe is simply through affirmations. It's affirmations that told you about this limited belief or whatever you are uh, probably believing in. You probably have self-doubt about certain things. I can never be a motivational speaker because who's going to listen to me? I don't have enough confidence in, in order to be able to do that. Honestly, I'm I'm pouring to you out of my own pot. I can tell you things like this because I have experienced these things. And I re refuse to let that be my story. I am abundant in knowledge. I am abundant in a lot of things. And it is my duty to share it with the world because I want them to come out of that mindset as well. I mean we've all had things that we probably look at and be like, oh, I didn't realize that was that was a limited belief, but it is. If you're not careful, it'll pour more self um, doubt. It'll pour, it'll give you more low self-esteem. And if you have children, they'll pick up these things too, which is basically a generational curse. So it is on you to be able to break it. You can break it before you have children. You can break it with your children. You can just show them, okay, well today, we're gonna look in the mirror We're going to look in the mirror and we're going to go ahead and say these affirmations starting with, you don't really want to do too many at one time. You kind of want to be like dead focused on one. And then once you master that, however long it takes you, I suggest saying it every time you think about it throughout the day and then times that by 20. So just go plumb crazy and continue to say this to yourself because you have to break that bond. You have to break that mindset. It, it, the, your generation, your lineage, who you are in spirit depends on this. So you have to, even if it seems a little crazy and you, and you might feel uncomfortable at first, like I don't really believe that, but you should and you will. Once you keep saying it to yourself, say it in the mirror, say it in the shower, say it on your way to work, say it when you meet people. I remember when I first started tapping into this affirmation mindset where you just kind of continue to say things to yourself to, in order to bring this out of yourself. Um, when people would meet me or see me, they'd be like, girl, how you doing? I'd be like, I'm blessed in the Lord. Thank you. And they'd be like, I'm blessed too. And I'm like, yeah, we're all blessed. I just continue to say that because I know I am. I'm a blessing for one. Blessings are inside of me. I am a blessing and I am blessed. Okay. Certain things that before we get into affirmations, I just got to get this off my chest. Another thing that we need to do as a whole is to stop labeling ourselves. Just because you go through different things in life that probably make you feel disappointed in yourself or in others, it doesn't give you the right to tell yourself that you are this thing. You are not sad, okay? You're not the spirit of sadness. 
you might be feeling the emotion of what it feels like to be sad, but you are not sadness. You are not mad. You're not crazy. You're not going off the deep end. You are experiencing an emotion that could make you feel upset and angry, but you are not the spirit of angriness. You are not the spirit of sadness. You are not the spirit of madness. You are not the spirit of depression. You are not depressed. Don't say stuff like that over your life. That's an affirmation as well. You're not tapping into that no more. Where what we're doing is moving forward and being being very cautious about what it is we're saying. And in order to do that, we have to stop our limited beliefs. We have to expand our mindset. From now on, we'll say things like this. I am enough. I am love. I am the spirit of love. The Bible even says that God did not give us the spirit of fear because that's what limited beliefs are stemmed from. But the spirit of a sound mind, love, and the, and the scripture goes on and on. I'm a little rusty, but God is good all the time. Let the church say amen and amen again, okay? <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? We're not walking with the spirit of fear. We're not walking with that. We're not walking with the spirit of lack, but we are walking with the spirit of love because that's what he has given us. I am a sound mind. I have the spirit of a sound mind. I am enough. I am the I am. I am whatever you say I am. And if I wasn't, then why would I say I am? What are you saying <laughs> to yourself? These things, you want to say that money comes to me easily and effortlessly and it is here to stay. Say this to yourself over and over and over again until you embody what it is and the spirit of that thing, the, the, the spirit of abundance. Hello, somebody. Once you start channeling that thought and that emotion, because you continue to say this to yourself over and over and over again, then you'll realize how easy this is and then you'll realize where your limited beliefs stemmed from and why that's not who you are anymore. So... I hope you can rock with that. I know I got overly excited, but I love affirmations because they really did help me beat a lot of things like addictions. It helped me to believe in myself to get out of that toxic relationship. It helped me to also help myself to heal and be able to rebuild my self-esteem, okay, and my confidence so I can be here in front of you spitting bars like I do. I love y'all so much. Thank you for your time watching my channel, growing with me. We are growing together, okay? I'm helping you, you helping me. And please make sure you subscribe on your way out. Make sure you like the video. And please comment. Like I said, let me know how this resonates with you. What are some affirmations that you tell yourself every day? Make up a new one. Love you. Till next time. Bye.